first of all, I'm really excited and really honoured to lead the girls um, um, in the next season. I can't quite believe it's, it's such a big full circle to bring me back to this role. Probably way more qualified people than me to be here, um, but I know the club and I know what it means to be a part of this club. No better place to do it, no better city to do it, you know? So I'm really excited to put my stamp on the on the on the women's program and help get it to where we all feel it deserves to be and bring the right success. We want success ultimately, right? So we want to play uh, a style of play that's attractive, that's beautiful, that gets, like I said, gets people on the edge of their seat and gets them to want to come back. Not all necessarily for the wins or the losses, but for who the people are that are playing on the field. When I was at Manchester City, there was a coach that was he was a great coach, but very very harsh and. And, and tough and so there was there were times where I was like wow if I was I'm gonna be a coach one day I don't want to do it how how you do it respectfully the relationship side for me is the biggest part if I can you know you want to bring players into a club where obviously they're gonna grow as players but the ultimate game is how can we help them to become more confident in who they are as individuals helping them to realize how great they are as people helping them to get every last bit of potential out of them and helping them to just be in an environment where they can grow and become the person that they're meant to be. When I play with, uh, you know, for the club, there's, there's players from all over, from Spain, from England, from Germany, that come in every year and you bring all those cultures together. You create bonds out of that, you create friends, you create um, you, you know, new leaders and, and friends that last a lifetime. And I think that's the, the beauty of, of, of things like this, of clubs like Chattanooga that bring people in for the great cause, which is, which is community. We want girls to come to Chattanooga and, and to be involved in, in the community. And, and the big thing is I want girls to come and to, you know, young, young girls in the community to look and go, wow, if those girls can make it, then so can I. If they've come from difficult backgrounds, if they can get to this point, so can I. And it's about involving the players into the community and really making them all connect and be a part of a legacy that's going to last a lifetime. I truly believe that Chattanooga is one of the most important clubs in America right now for the foundation that it's set, the legacy that it is setting, and the success that I believe is going to come and the foundations that we've set to help bring the community of Chattanooga together through the beautiful game. The love and affection from fans, the care and the nurturement of the, of the club itself and being invested in the, into the community and giving back. The amount of people that have given to me throughout my life when I've been to America, um, it just makes you realise and want to, to give back. And I think that will be one of the big phrases that I will be saying to the team when, when they come in the summer is, how are we going to give back to the club, but more importantly to the community? Because without community, what have you got? We want fans to come in because they want to come in and they want to, to see players playing for the club that they love. And we want to bring them back in and we want them to connect. Chat hooligans, or the the fans that come to the game, it's a it's one heck of an atmosphere, and boy, is it going to continue to be that. Wherever you are in the country, um, Chattanooga is continuing to grow. We're going in the right direction, um, and it's a time that the. I, I believe everybody will want to be a part of. We are looking to make a statement. I'm here to make a statement, and boy, we're going to do it.